In this video, I will demonstrate where and how to register for an account with the PACER Service Center. PACER stands for Public Access to Court Electronic Records. It's an online service provided by the federal judiciary that allows users to conduct nationwide searches to view and obtain case information filed in federal courts. PACER users can search the database to determine if a party filed bankruptcy or is involved in an appellant, district, or bankruptcy case. The user can view the case docket at no charge, and for a small fee, the user can view and download the docket sheet, documents filed in a case, and print case reports. PACER charges a $0.10 cent user fee for every page. However, PACER will waive the fees when the user's account accrues less than $30 in a given quarter. Let's go through the registration process. In your browser, enter www.pacer.gov. From the main menu bar, click Register. From the drop-down list, click PACER Case Search Only. This screen explains that there is no registration fee and to create an account, you must complete their online registration process. To begin registration, you will click Register for a PACER account now. On the Case Search Only registration screen, you must provide your first and last name, date of birth, address, a phone number, and an email address. You must also select a user type. It is important to know that if you are or will be an ECF filer in any federal court, you should create an individual PACER account. After you select a user type, check the recaptcha box, I'm not a robot. Then click Next to create a username and password. In the Username field, enter a PACER username. The username must be at least 8 characters, but no more than 40 characters. Valid characters are letters, numbers, periods, and underscores. You should not include special characters in your username. In the password field, enter your PACER password. The password must be between 8 and 45 characters and have at least one lower and upper case letter and one special character. The password cannot include your first or last name, your PACER username, or your email address nor can you have the same character three times in a row. After you confirm your password, select an answer to security questions. You should use an answer that is easy for you to remember but difficult for others to guess. After you answer the last security question, click Next to continue. This is the payment information screen. You have the option to set up a credit card to pay for any PACER user fees. If you register without setting up a credit card, PACER will send an activation code and instructions to you within 7 to 10 business days. To continue, you will click Next. This is PACER's Policies and Procedures page. You can view the information on your screen or click the link to download a printable copy. After you review the information, you must check the box acknowledging that you have read and that you understand PACER's policies and procedures. After you check the box, you will click Submit to complete the registration process. This is the last screen confirming that you have completed the registration process. Click Done to close the window. To learn more about PACER and its services, visit their website at www.pacer.gov. If you found this video helpful, and would like to view other court tutorials, go to the court's webpage at www.mssb.uscourts.gov and click the YouTube icon in the top right-hand corner of the court's home page. If you have questions regarding the registration process, please contact Colette Derwin at 228-563 one seven nine three four six zero one six zero eight four six two zero or send her an email at
Colette underscore Derwin at mssb.uscourts.gov.